So I'm going to talk about some Tai Chi. Um, this is kind of a video. It was like a Sunday morning. You know, nobody was in the house. And, you know, so I steal away and go out here and uh, do a little bit of uh, Tai Chi, Qigong, Kung Fu, you know. And um, the idea behind this video is to give the beginner uh, a fragmented and um, polarized uh perspective to the subconscious mind so then that way the deeper lessons that are inside the kung fu that are may not be so apparent right they get into the subconscious mind and clear away toxicity and uh, negativity self-doubt and all these kind of stuff clears the mind uh gets rid of anxiety uh gets rid of ptsd it's all this stuff i mean basically all it does is turn people into zen masters and <clears throat> Basically, on how to do that, come to class. Um, videos are cool, but and they they're meant for the people who do come to class. So um, see, <laughs> meet me at class. Okay, taking off my glasses, checking the camera angle, looking to see if I have enough space. And it's important to make sure you have space. So yeah, welcome to the video. This is uh, things to think about when you're doing uh, qigong tai chi and. Uh, you know, in between classes, do this kind of stuff. Let's see, okay, deep breathing in here, uh, making sure the shoulders are below, our shoulders are going down, hands are below the elbows, you know, trying to relax. Breathing in, let's see, okay, oh well, yeah, close it into the front. Okay, the general holds the pagoda, well, or lifting the hands to heaven, call it what you want. The, the, the idea is the essence. It's not about the end result. It's about process and, and uh, development and things developing further and further as moments go by. Like you have a certain stage of development in the moment, but then the next time you do it, because it's added practice. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, bending deep. Uh, keeping the uh, spine as straight as possible and knees as straight as possible. Going down as far as you feel comfortable breathing in and actually feel the breath expanding inside that causes you to stand up straight right? and then you know so on and so forth same idea for the entire thing you can see the chi in the body me moving it up and down and it's good to do them in broken up sequences sometimes you know because it's kind of like a my body was craving these i could tell my body needed these and so i did these specifically just kind of rolling with it which is good okay this is actually a piece of the iron palm exercise and do enough of these, you'll bricks will break all by themselves. So yeah, breathing in, channeling the uh, anything less than positive tension and so forth, blah, 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 blah. Rushing, visualizing, imagining out the center of the palms, breathing into the issue of, actually I feel pretty good uh, this day it looks like. See the chi sinking, the breath causing the elbows. Let's see the shoulders relax, elbows down. Keep the hands in a nice little shape there. Everything loose and relaxed. Anything less than positive rushing out the center of the palm. Let's see, inhaling again, crossing hands. Cross hands is a really good position. A lot of people say it's not. Well, if you understand what's going on and you have a flexible thing, you know, the positioning is a matter of timing. Okay, yeah, okay, breathing out here. And then using the breath, the pressure inside of my body building up because I'm inhaling and expanding my lungs, pulling my diaphragm down all the way from the tips of my toes to the top of the earth and top of the heavens and so forth. Now inhaled all the way here. Now exhaling, using the body turning to press out some of that air. Get the chi flowing. The chi mixes with the, the heart. And then the heart sends it through the body. Okay, let's see. Filling up with oxygen and whatever else is in the atmosphere. Crossing hands, sinking. Definitely should be feeling the thighs. After a while, you start to breathe into the thighs. The thighs, doing that, heating up and so forth, feeling the fatigue, right? That's your signal to breathe into them. And you get to a point where you, you can stand in your stances and get more out of your stances as time goes by and breathing through it. So yeah, breathing in, breathing out here, now breathing in, fill it back up, 
Let's see if we can notice the chi moving inside my body. Hey, hey. This one's really weird. I always feel this in different random places. It's pretty cool. That's why it's very important. Okay, breathing out. And then breathing in to bring it back. The squirrel's running around in the background. They're trying to wait for me to give them a peanut. Okay, sinking the root, breathing in, exhaling. Relaxing, mind clear, focusing on the hands. Pushing yourself from the desk. Tai Chi and Kung Fu is interesting. Um, I notice a fair share of enough of where the hands go into a position and then the body kind of follows after the hand, like fills in behind the hands. Okay, let's see, forward stance here. I haven't done any knee bends yet, so I'm taking it easy, not bending too deep until I'm, you know, take a little bit more warmed up. Feeling the iliopsoas, the front of my left hip. You know, contracting the uh, the glute muscles, keep the spine straight. Trying to ignore what's going on in my footwork. <laughs> okay, let's see. Breathing, focusing straight ahead. Pick a spot straight ahead and focus on it, and keep the eyes open. Usually, I'd put my hands on my hips or like the uh, or the chambered hand on hip thing. Either hand on hip directly, like hand on hip. Or like, you know, the typical when after you do the salute, pull the hands in with the closed fist at each side. That's the other hands on hips. So there's two hands on hips. Keep that in mind. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay, leaning. Here's one of the hands on hips. Yeah, good. Standing up straight on the leaning stance. Taking it easy. Actually lean toward that standing leg, the extended leg a little bit. You can feel those, what I've been calling Bruce Lee muscles. There's your upper block with a punch. Good to play around with some kung fu. <sighs> some northern Shaolin. A little bit of number eight. A little bit of number two. That yeah, looks like I'm doing a number two, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a horse stance. Let me just stand here. Now, I'm talking about that part about in the thighs right here. Everybody knows who does this, right? Knows about that part in the thighs. And warmed up so the knees can bend enough. And uh, the thighs are feeling that warmth and that heat. So just breathe into it a couple times and then, you know, say screw it. <laughs> I could have kept going, you know, yet I don't, I'm not warmed up enough to keep going right at this point. Right, so yeah, I'm like, yeah, let's get the circulation going. Hip rotation. Notice the head stays still on this one. Kind of interesting. I'm breathing in, getting that horse stance energy through my thighs. Breathing all the breathing it all out, breathing in deep. That one, when both hands go up, it actually massages all the internal organs. Super good for you. Shoulders relaxing. Breathing out. Yeah, there you go. Sinking. There you go. Okay. Getting a little warmer now. Let's see. Uh, this is in every Tai Chi. Ward off, roll back, press and push. If if. Uh, yeah, anyone can say anything's Tai Chi, I suppose. However, this is the main combination, and all the Tai Chi's have that combination. Ward off, roll back, press. I'm feeling my stance is a little. Elbows down. Push. Okay. Back straight. Good. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay. Typical kung fu position right there. Okay, hold the ball, the Philly shell. Ward off, warding off, and pressing down at the same time. Rolling back. Press. And fingers rotate down. Sit all the way back. And push. Okay, let's see what's this. They call this single whip, and um, they also call this the yoke. The stick go across the back with the, you know, big packages on each side. People walking around with those on. 
That's what they mean by the yoke in that position. Okay, here we go, some cloud hands. I like to think about doing the cloud hands in at the speed that clouds do. And sometimes I'll do it fast. I do it all different ways. I'm never really stuck in any one, you know, way of doing things. You know, always being, keeping that mindset of being adaptable, you know, also sensible, common sense, you know. If you take two test, two lessons from Tai Chi and then expect to go fight Mike Tyson, well, that's um, <laughs> that's your fault, not Tai Chi's fault. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's, let's test the balance on this foot. Yeah, okay, good, not bad. I'm gonna get the foot up higher. Okay, turn around, ring the. Okay, some notification popped up, so that kind of screwed me on that. Okay, left leg, heel kick. All right, snake creeps down. You can sit if you want. I didn't want to make the barbecue fly across the backyard. Okay, golden rooster. The snake creeps down on the other side. I gotta turn that hook arm a little more. Good, rooster. Okay, playing around with the uh, Fair Lady Works the Shuttle, which is, and this is also the, I threw my own combination of the five corners into this. Well, the five five elements. Usually I used to do the four corners, but I call it the five elements because I put a fifth one in there. And the three ring circle of moon. And two, stepping out, stepping around and outside. And then right up the middle. Okay, you can take your body out and embrace the tiger. Let's see what happens here. And here's where you can really start to notice the, you know, the Indian influence, how old this stuff could be. And tai Chi's actually relatively new, actually, in terms of martial arts. There's a lot of martial arts that were out there before Tai Chi, but that's another story. Okay, elbows down, all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Feeling warm, feeling good. Ah, a little bit of... Playing around with some mantis. Let's see what happens. Uh, little miniature mantis. All right, there you go. Okay, breathing. Really feeling the chi circulating through my entire body at this point. Warming up, doing a little mantis that way. It really uh, gets some uh, adrenaline going. Okay, let's see. And I use the Tai Chi to calm my breath down, catch my breath. Okay, uh, the wild horses. Remember the footwork down there is the general, and General Quan enters the palace, right? And uh, so the wild horses, okay. Circular block, crane, cools the crane's wings. Take apart, brush knee, push step. And heart piercing palms. Roll it back a little, turn, work your stances. Sit in, relax through the thigh to the palm. Left, right, left. These aren't exactly in sequence and anything like that. It's just to get the idea of what to practice and Let's let these ideas, these are all the main stuff going into your mind. Okay, play the guitar. That's a different way of doing it. Settling. Let's see what I'm going to do here. Clearing the mind. I think that's all I really wanted to express at that point. Let's see. Didn't do any neck circles, but it's good to do these. Hmm. Let's see what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Probably just like giving a moment to shake it off. I don't know if anyone could see in the squirrels in the background. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay, so that was it on that.